Hi, my name is Misha and I'm a student at Cypress College in the Registered Dental Assisting Program and I'm going to play the dental assistant and Victoria is another Cypress College student in the dental assisting program and she's going to play the doctor. And i um, show you an example of a composite procedure and this is the setup for a composite procedure and part of learning um, all the steps is knowing all the different instruments that we're going to use. So first, you take the shade guide to match it to the tooth. I think 55 will do. Okay. And then you need to place a topical anesthetic. And then use the aspirating syringe to numb the area. Then you'd hand the doctor and then the doctor would use a high-speed handpiece and burrs to prepare the tooth for the restoration. Um, some other instruments she may use is a spoon excavator to carve out the decay or um, enamel cutting instruments. And once the tooth is prepared, she would isolate the tooth. And we'd place a saliva ejector in the mouth. And then we'd place dical, which is calcium hydroxide into the cavity preparation. And then we would etch the tooth. And after we etch the tooth, we need to rinse out the mouth and suction. After we rinse and dry the mouth, we need to replace the cotton roll. And then we'll also place a mylar strip and wedges. And then we'll place the bond on the tooth. Once we place the bond, we'll need to cure it with the light curing device. Once the material's hardened, the doctor will place the composite material on the tooth. Once the material is placed, the doctor will use instruments such as an interproximal carver to carve the restoration. She may also use um, polishing burrs or things such as sandpaper discs to smooth the restoration. And then I'll give her articulating paper so she can check the bite. And if everything is okay, then we'll show the patient the tooth, the final restoration. And that's the end of the composite procedure. So once we've practiced to proficiency, our teachers give us checkoffs for each procedure.